doing this tape job for medial tibial stress syndrome, aka what? What do people call these commonly? Shin splints, that's right. But what muscle is involved here? Posterior tibia. Posterior tib. Real, really um, important for inversion of the foot. Help, uh, assist in supination of the foot. So that's how you get in that locked position for heel strike. So anyway, medial tibial stress syndrome, but mostly for plantar fasciitis. So you remember you can test somebody for plantar fasciitis. Look at how tight her plantar fascia is. What a good example. And then I push right here. Do you have any tenderness there? She's really tight. But if she had plantar fasciitis, she would jump off the table. So anyway, but do you guys see this? Mm -hmm. Look at that. You need a tennis ball there. Okay. All right, so... First thing you do for everything, four points on the practicum. Shh. And just, you're relaxed. On your handout, what's the position of the athlete? Long do you guys sit. know how to read your handouts? Long sitting position with the foot in what? What does it say on your handout? Are you guys reading for the ankle or for the medial longitudinal arch? <clears throat> and what is the position of the athlete? That's okay. Foot in neutral. Foot in neutral. What does that mean to you? Relax. In the starting position. It's just relaxed, right? Okay, this would be dorsiflex, right? She's really tight, my goodness. Her Achilles tendon is super tight and her plantar fascia is super tight. But in any case, this would this is your ankle taping position. This is neutral. All right? So she doesn't really have to do anything other than sit, long sit. Okay, so spray. And what you're going to do here is tape from the heads of the metatarsals. On the ankle, we've been taping at the base of the metatarsals. And I'm saying this because this is a common mistake. You guys are going to start taping the ankle at the heads of the metatarsals. And I don't want you to do that. Your ankle tape job is from here to here. Your arch tape job is from here to here. You're taping the medial longitudinal arch. Got it? All right. So four-point spray. Then we're going to do a single layer of pre-wrap. And... Um, honestly, this will get sloppy and messy if you don't do a single layer, so be careful with how you're laying it down. So you got your spray, and then your <laughs> roll is on top, right, for your pre-wrap. You guys remember this? Roll is on top, and then you're spiraling at an angle, not going half the width of the pre-wrap. Your goal is to really just do a single layer. All right, so there's that. And I think of this as my sock. So this is where your pre-wrap is going to be. And then the tape is going to be lower than your pre-wrap. Okay, we're going around the heads of the metatarsals. Anytime we go around the metatarsals, we have to apply the strip loosely. We're going to spool it out because we're going around the bottom of the foot, lay it down on the heads of the metatarsals, and then wrap it around very, very loosely because when she step, steps down, these are going to lay like a dog on a cool tile. It's going to stretch out. Splay is the correct term for that. Okay, now we have to look at our anatomical landmarks that we've become familiar with with our evaluation. And what we're doing is looking, so here's a good example. Can you get this? So I, it rolled up, guys. When that happens, just pinch it away. She'll put it on you too. Thank you. Okay, so we're going around the calcaneal tubercle. Back here, the insertion of the Achilles tendon. We want our strip of tape to be above that landmark. We start lateral on this one and we're going to take tightly, this one's tight, 
over to the head of the first metatarsal. I'm going to measure at the mid head of the first metatarsal, really the biggest bone on the medial side, bony protuberance. I'm going to tear my tape. This is the only time I'll ever tell you you can put your tape down because you really don't ever need to put your tape down, but you don't need to. Okay, this is important. Okay, she's relaxed, right? I'm going to put my thumb on the heads of the lateral two, three, four, five metatarsals, and I'm going to push, depress, push down on the head of the first metatarsal. Apply my tape tightly, and then do you guys see how that takes that head just a little bit lower than the lateral four, right, that depression? Okay, now here's your supporting strip. So this is called a lodi or your second anchor, you could call this, or the lodi because you're on that head of the first metatarsal. Now the tape, the supporting tape strips are going to go from the plantar fascia to the heads of the metatarsals, the insertion on the calcaneus. You're going to go lateral to medial, pulling up on the medial longitudinal arch. So mid, right there, middle of the tape, coming around and lifting on the medial side of the foot. Correct. Yeah, that's the harder. support. Yeah. yeah, that's why I call them supporting strips. Okay, I'm going to do it again. So this is repeat, step, whatever. Remember, you're supposed to be reading your handout and making your own notes, putting it in your own words as we're doing this, right? Okay, now I'm on my cover strips. I want to finish the circle. I've made a half circle here. I'm going to go medial to lateral, making sure I don't cover this big fat tendon right here. What's this tendon? Anterior, Anterior tib. Right, so I'm only going to put cover strips here because I don't want to tape on the tendon. Although hers isn't popping out. Lift your dorsiflex. Yeah, there it is. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. So have your partner do that so that you know not to tape on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so finishing the circle. And you only have to do one set of these. Half the width of the tape, so three quarters of an inch. I only need three. Okay, now I'm going to do the first two strips that I did in opposite order. So I'm going to start with my lodi, covering up my ends. See how I have no ends exposed? Are you guys with me there? Cover up. And then lastly is just like you started, spool it out, lay it down loosely. Wrap it around, cover up those ends. She's got that little depression. Can you guys see that? If you want to just come from the top right here. And then what I would ask her, I mean, we're done here. She would step down and she's going to feel the support on the medial longitudinal arch because I've lifted up. Got it?